I live very, very comfortably with $60,000 a year. There's 100% a misconception that I can't live in New York City unless I have this amazing job and I'm making six figures. My name is Fallon, I'm 32 years old. I live in New York City and I make $60,000 a year. I work at Tony Donopoli's on the Upper East Side. Dance is my true passion in life, but serving pays the bills and it gets me to where I need to be. I moved from Salt Lake City to New York City because in Salt Lake there's only about three auditions a year, opposed to in New York City there's probably three auditions a day. I had no idea how much money I was going to be able to make here. And I was terrified because I was paying $400 a month for rent in Salt Lake City. I feel if I can keep my rent under $1,000, then I live very comfortable on how much I can make. You can find very nice places to live on a good budget. Being an actress, dancer, singer, you have to keep up your dancing and acting and singing, so there's a lot of extra costs that come into keeping yourself in shape. 50 to 55,000 of my income comes from serving. Making tips in Utah versus making tips in New York is a huge difference. On a usual night, I'll make about 250 to $300 usually. There was a day actually just a couple months ago where me and my partner each made $800. Hi, how are you today? So to kind of let you know about our menu. The first time I was able to walk out with over $300 in one night, I was so ecstatic. Like being able to make that much was, I didn't know it was possible. One of the biggest savings for me is working at the restaurant. So if you put how much I eat there, I probably save, I would say about $300 a month. It's really hard actually being a dancer in New York City. When I go to a audition, open calls usually have around 300 girls there at least. Usually on a contract, non-equity dancers, singers, actors will make around 350 to 500 a week. Even though I do make less money when I am dancing and acting, it's what I live for. I did the no dancing thing and it I was just going through the motions of life. I wasn't actually really living my life. I like to keep $5,000 in my checking account and then whatever is extra, I'll transfer over into my savings account. I have just over $10,000 in my savings account. I try not to use any credit cards um, at all. I'll use a credit card on a big purchase. I do not have any retirement, which is not so great, but I have 30 years to get in a retirement fund. <laughs> All of the tips that I make go towards my income. Um, I make an hourly wage, however, my checks are mostly always zero because my hourly wage goes towards my taxes. I end up mostly owing at the end of the year on my taxes because my hourly wage doesn't cover enough. Coffee is my my big splurge. I definitely have a lot of coffee. I usually probably spend $100 a month at Starbucks. So <laughs> The most expensive thing I bought were my Laduca boots. So this is my splurge. These are my new babies. Real leather made in Italy. And they were almost $500 for a pair. So those were very expensive, but they're so comfortable to dance in that I had to buy them. I buy eggs by the cartons. We all know that eggs are on the cheaper side of some foods. Laundry, if you can get it in your house, that's a huge money saver in New York. I try to only ride the subway, that way I know I'm only spending $121 a month. In five years, I hope to have been able to play um, more roles in shows that I would love to do. Like I make less money when I'm dancing, but it makes me so happy that making less money is worth my happiness. You know, if you can find something that you love that makes a little less money than something else, that's really the best thing possible for your life.